everybody. Welcome into this Adobe Lightroom tutorial brought to you as always by tutvid.com. Today we're going to talk about a kind of cool effect in Lightroom. And this I think is going to be a pretty quick tutorial, almost more of a quick tip than a full-fledged tutorial. And you know how I am with the tutorials. I I usually try to deliver like, you know, 20, 30, 40 minuters. This one's going to be a little faster, but it's just something really cool. Uh, that you can do in Lightroom that I think is really neat that I don't know how many people that even try to do it or mess around with it because most of us, let's face it, are trying to create nice professional looking images in Lightroom. And this, I, 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 won't, I won't say it produces professional quality photos, but it's, an, it's a cool effect to know how to do in Lightroom. It's a sort of duotone effect. And we do it using curves. Let's check it out. So I got this image here. Uh, you can use pretty much any image. This one was shot in a studio environment. You can see over a solid color background. Um, and she's wearing a solid color dress. So when you have a lot of big chunks of solid color, these type of duotone effects really tend to work pretty nicely. I'm here in the develop module. I'm going to go to my tone curve panel. And I am working not with my, you know, my funky region-based curves, but I hit my little curve icon here so I can work with my sort of more real deal standard curve, if you will. Double click to get rid of that point. I'm going to go to the red channel. And all you do is with any one of these color channels, you grab the bottom base point or the top point there and you begin to drag it up and around so I could drag it inward if I want to give kind of this this greenish cyan cast I can drag it upward if I want to get this really flat red color and I can drag it down and over or maybe well yeah maybe I should go down this way and over and you can see I get kind of this like red and cyan um, duotone effect it's not quite perfect maybe I want to go to basic and just suck all the color out of the image using saturation and you can adjust the contrast as well go like contrast maybe adjust the uh, good old exposure a little bit and you can get a really kind of cool effect and of course if you want to undo this whole thing you can very quickly just right click here inside the curves and choose flatten curve it's gonna bring us back to where we were just uh, of course we have a black and white image because we went and made it black and white in the basic panel uh, but then I can go to like greens and you know, I can pull up on greens which of course is gonna give me a ton of green or if I pull this way it's gonna give me a ton of magenta so I can go like yeah let's go with a bunch of magenta and then bring greens over here into the highlight and you can just kind of mess with it and push and pull it and you know really tweak it until you get what you're looking for bring some magenta into the shadows man eh, maybe I don't like that I can flatten that curve I can go try the blue channel I can do the same thing with the blue channel where I pull up bring a pump a ton of blues into the shadow uh, or to the shadows and then I can come back to like reds and I can say you know what I actually want to try putting reds up in the highlights so I can get kind of a reddish uh, you know very very heavy red pink cast in the highlights while I get this heavy blue cast in the shadows so you can just you can mix and match these bad boys let's go to greens and let's say we really want magentas up in the highlights you can do that as well or maybe I want greens up in the highlights I can do that as well you got to be careful the greens not only can they look toxic they can sort of behave toxically and really blast your highlights uh, to kingdom come so there we go blue in the shadow green in the highlight we get this very bizarre duotone effect and right click flatten curve as always I'm gonna go back to blues and well you know I'm not gonna flatten the curve here I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with some yellow up in the highlights because yellow is the opposite of blue uh, so very quickly and very easily you can create these I, I don't I don't I wouldn't call them like pure duotones but they are pretty duotone ish uh, and they they exhibit a lot of the qualities of duotone and I play fast and loose with the terms that I use a lot as well as much as I purport to be somebody who enjoys and uh, values precision not when it's to my own personal detriment, I guess. Uh, but there it is, a, a cool duotone effect in Adobe Lightroom. If you enjoyed this video, leave a little like on it. Drop a comment below and make sure you subscribe to my channel. That way you never miss another photography, Photoshop, or Lightroom tutorial ever in the future. What a deal that is for creating this duotone effect and playing with curves in a rather unorthodox way in Adobe Lightroom. That's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, Tutfid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.